So today is March 2nd and at 10 a.m. the Bank of Canada met and made an announcement they were increasing Bank Prime by a quarter percent. So what does that mean for you and where does it go from now? Uh, we haven't seen an increase in Bank Prime since October 2018. So it's something that was definitely warranted and due. We just didn't know when that was going to happen and when the increase was going to be. Part of the rationale behind the increase was because we are coming out of the pandemic. So that is a good sign. We're very slow to recover, but we are seeing that the ec economy is recovering at a higher pace than what the government had anticipated. That's part of the reason why there is an increase. Um, but one of the major issues is our inflation in Canada. Currently, we're at 5.1%. We're traditionally at a 2% inflation rate. So traditionally, when we're looking at inflation and inflation increasing, we typically see that Bank of Canada will increase bank prime rate, and we will also see interest rates increase as well. But we are entering into a spring market, and we do have a lack of supply out in the marketplace in regards to homes. The demand of the market is there, people want to own a home, and so that may also keep an ease of it not increasing on Bank Canada as much as what is anticipated. We've got a lack of goods and services uh, being able to be distributed across the country and also you know, globally as well too. And now with this insurgence of uh, this invasion from Russia to the Ukraine, a lot of our commodities such as oil, um, gas and wheat, um, you know, that gets distributed from the Ukraine and Russia um, across the country are going to be at a standstill. And that's definitely going to increase, um, you know, the value to us as a consumer on those goods. So we'll continue to increase inflation. And the government is very cognizant of this. And so they will be very cautious to look at any other further increases. Um, what does that do for you now as a payment on your home? So if you're looking at um, an average mortgage amount of 500000 on a variable rate mortgage, at let's say 1.65, if that's where your current rate is, now that Bank Prime has increased by a quarter percent, that's increasing your rate to 1.80%. And so that you're looking at a mortgage payment monthly of about $60 increase a month. And when you break it down by every 100,000, you're looking at about a 12 to $14 payment due to this increase in Bank Prime. So not substantial and not enough to warrant people to lock into a fixed rate right now. We've got a pending spring market that's just around the corner right now a lot of pent-up you know buyers that want to be able to purchase a home in Canada and the lack of supply out there is really going to drive the banks to be competitive in that space for business and to gain your market share uh, for mortgages so it is something that is you know really fluid every day in terms of where we're going to be on interest rates and the next time the Bank of Canada meets is April 13th but we here at Valco Financial will be able to give you any updates on where we are in the economy on a daily basis we send our monthly newsletters out as well and you can always message us on any of our social media platforms uh, reach out to us at our office and we'll be able to navigate through these times to be able to help you on a path of success for your mortgage so any questions at all reach out to us at Valco Financial